Hello everyone. Welcome to this presentation on Family Search Reason Statements made easy using Simple Fill. Do you ever get tired of writing reason statements in Family Search? Perhaps you just ignore them. Perhaps you have a Word document of common reason statements from which you cut and paste the reason statement into the appropriate place. Or maybe your reason statements look something like this. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a way to easily complete the reason, reason statements on Family Search using the Chrome extension Simple Fill. Simple Fill is designed to fill out online forms, but it can be used very effectively to complete reason statements in Family Search. Before we go any further, I must acknowledge Catherine Grant, who introduced me to this great extension. It has literally saved me hours and hours of time. I will begin by showing you how Simple Fill works, and then I will show you how to install it and set it up. Let's look at a scenario on Family Search Family Tree where Simple Fill can be used. Here we see two record hints on the right for James Reed that need to be added as sources. I have previously reviewed the 1851 census and find it is correct. I click Review and Attach, which takes me to the source linker, where I can attach the sources to James Reed and his family. The first thing I'm going to do is to give a reason statement for why I am attaching the census. I right click in the reason statement box and a drop down box appears. If I hover over simply fill with simple fill, it will populate the titles of my list of reason statements. Click on the title that applies to the source you are adding. In this case, it is a census. Once I click on the title, it will add the reason statement for that title in the box. Once the statement has populated in the reason statement box, with the cursor at the end of the statement, hit the space bar. This is one of the little quirks of the extension. If you miss this step, the statement will not be saved. There are some limitations to using Simple Fill. It does not work when you are adding a reason statement in other areas where reason statements are required. For example, not a match. Or when adding information in vital information. It basically just works in Source Linker. So, how do you install Simple Fill and set up your unique reason statements? At this point, I want to make you aware that Simple Fill has been around since 2013, so it is considered a safe extension. The easiest way to find Simple Fill is to put Simple Fill extension into your Google search bar. This screen will appear and you will click on Add to Chrome. The Simple Fill icon will appear as a small icon on the right of your address bar, along with any other extensions you may have, such as Evernote, Web Clipper, or RecordSeq. This screen may appear after you have added the extension. Scroll up and it will give you an example of how Simple Fill looks. If you don't see Simple Fill on the extensions bar, you may have to pin it to the bar. This is done by clicking on the extension icon on the right of your address bar. The extension icon looks like a charcoal grey puzzle piece. A drop down menu will appear and if Simple Fill is added, it will show up as one of the options. You will need to click the little pin icon to pin it to your extension bar. It will still work even if it's not pinned to the bar. Here you see the landing page at Family Search. 
Notice the icon is blue, showing it is active on Family Search. Sometimes the icon will appear gray on other sites. I have found that this is a little arbitrary whether the icon is blue or gray. It is important to note here also that Simple Fill will not autofill a form. You have to right click it to bring up the Simple Men Fill menu. If you would like to have Simple Fill specific to Family Search, you will need to click on the kebab or three dots menu. When the drop down appears, click on More Tools and then Extensions. You will see a screen like this, which will list the extensions you have added. Find Simple Fill and then click on Details. This screen will appear that will allow you to choose just a specific site for Simple Fill. Choosing the option On Specific Site will bring up this screen, which will allow you to put in the URL of the site you specifically want to identify for Simple Fill. For our purposes, we will put in the URL for Family Search. Now, how to create and organize your reason statements. Right click on the Simple Fill icon and you will get this drop down menu. Choose Options. And this screen will appear. This is where you will set up your titles and reason statements. For the most part, we are adding the same sources repeatedly. For example, a census record, a death record, or a birth or christening. For these repetitive sources, we can use a composed reason statement over and over again as well. The first line is shown as an example and cannot be altered, nor will it show up in your list of reason statements. Start entering your reason statement on the second line. First the title, which will show up on the drop down list when you right click, and then add the actual statement, which will be populated in the reason statement box. Here is an example of how it will look when you have finished entering all your reason statements. I have organized my reason statements alphabetically, but you can organize them in any order you would like. Decide before you start, because unfortunately you can't drag and drop to rearrange the order. If you decide later on that there are other reason statements you want to add, go to the reason statement which precedes where you want the statement to appear and click the plus sign. This will create an additional line for you to add your statement. Whether creating or adding reason statements, be sure to click Save on the bottom left before exiting the Options screen. Now that you are all set up, you are ready to start using Simple Fill to complete your reason statements. I hope it saves you time and brain power. Thanks for watching.